Some of you might not know who Michael Rappaport is because you live in the present. Michael Rappaport was an actor. He used to get a lot of work uh, during the indie film movement in the 90s. That's really where he got his start. Um, if you know movies, you might know him as the dim-witted cop in Copland or the dim-witted uh, actor in True Romance or the dim-witted boxer in Mighty Aphrodite or the dim-witted crook in Small Time Crooks. He also played um, the racist and dim-witted uh, TV exec in um, Bamboozled. Uh, he also played um, the uh, dim-witted white supremacist, uh, Remy, in uh, Higher Learning. Um, Michael Rappaport used to get a lot of work back in the day because he, he often uh, was picked for roles that came naturally to Michael Rappaport. Uh, these days he's posting very obscene uh, videos online. They are these very short clips that are filled with anti-Semitism and Islamophobic stuff and genocidal stuff and racist stuff. Um, <coughs> although he does, uh, he does have a movie uh, coming up. Um, I guess it's directed by Nick Turturro. And if you don't know who Nick Turturro is, Nick Turturro is like the poor man's John Turturro. Anyway, someone should ask the Totoro brothers uh, why they're working, why they would hire somebody who posts garbage like this so frequently. How many college students, when I look at their pages from two weeks ago, they were talking about their ADHD and their anxiety, yet now they're on college campuses protesting against Israel. You have ADHD and yet you protest Israel? Didn't you know that those two completely random things that I just pulled out of a hat are mutually exclusive even though there is seemingly zero connection between either of those things. I have ADHD. Sometimes I go blank when somebody's talking to me because it's like it's like somebody's turning the volume on a television up and down. You have to ask people to repeat themselves. I must have blanked out when I was getting diagnosed and the doctor was asking me all those foreign policy questions you have ADHD? What's your position on Israel? Of course, people are, people are, are activists have ADHD. Karl Marx had ADHD, only because he was a genius. Activists, of course. There's activists that have ADHD, and they protest everything at the exact same time. What happened to your anxiety? Sidebar. Sidebar. Just because you show up at the Capitol for a rally and you're wearing a yarmulke doesn't mean you're Jewish. Is wearing a yarmulke and not being Jewish going to be the new fashion trend? See, you think he was going there. But then suddenly he switched gears and went there. Did you notice that? First he said, it sounded like he was suggesting that if you're protesting Israel, you're not really Jewish. Which, in and of itself, is anti-Semitic. Conflating Jewishness with support for Israel is like conflating Hamas with Palestinians. It would be like suggesting all Palestinians support Hamas. By the way, he said that. And when he talks about Hamas, you could assume what he mean, really means is Palestinians. You can safely assume that. It's what's called the dog whistle. He's also said the other thing about Jewish people. He's conflated Jewishness with Zionism, which is an anti-Semitic trope. But once he suddenly switched gears there. Did you notice that? He suddenly went... Oh, wait, no, they're literally not Jewish. He's talking about somebody, who knows who, is hiring actors to pretend to be Jewish. This is what Michael Rappaport's saying, not me. And that's what Jewish Voices for Peace is. That's what Michael Rappaport believes. The Jewish Voices for Peace are essentially crisis actors. All those groups calling for a ceasefire. All those groups that want to end the violence against children, 
innocent people. The genocide. It's all a performance. That's some deep Alex Jones, Marjorie Taylor Greene, deep anti-Semitism. How is anybody still working with the psychopath? I have no idea. NBA sidebar. Are the Knicks going to make it to the Eastern Cares. Conference Finals this year? Huh? If you're going to BravoCon in Vegas this year, raise your hand. I could have gone to BravoCon. I am happen to be, at the time, I happen to be not too far from BravoCon. And I happen to know that you, Michael Rappaport, were performing at Wise Guys. I know where Wise Guys is. I've performed on that stage. I offered to debate you at BravoCon. I offered to meet up in the morning, Sunday morning, for a quick 20-minute chat, maybe over breakfast. Maybe buy you breakfast. Maybe you could buy me breakfast. You know, you talk about these college students with ADHD. You know, a lot of these college students probably every single one of them, has a Twitch stream show. You could contact them and debate them if they're such frauds, if they're so ill-informed and they're so annoying. Why don't you take them on? I think we both know why you haven't debated anybody, Michael Rappaport. It's because you're a spineless chump. You're a weakling. And you know that these students with this ADHD and this anxiety, they would chew you up and spit you out. Just like if you or I had a roast battle at Wise Guys, I would obliterate you. I would have tears running down your scabby little face. I would hurt your feelings so much. I've seen your acts. And by act, I mean crowd work. And by crowd work, I mean somebody in the crowd says something funny and then you go like this. You no-joke-having, spineless, racist, Islamophobic, anti-Semitic, Trump-guzzling punk. That's why you ducked me. I sent you that message and I know you saw it. And I know the real reason why you've endorsed Donald Trump. It's not to get Trump elected because it's not going to move his support one inch whether or not Michael Rappaport likes him. It's because you always wanted to be a rapper. I've seen you. I've heard you talk. You're always saying stuff like, don't get it twisted. You so want to be a rapper. But the hip-hop community has rejected you. You're too stupid to write good lyrics. You're too dumb to be interesting. So you think, hey, since society has rejected my acting career... I could pursue my dreams of being a rapper. But of course, real rappers don't like me. So I'm going to become a MAGA rapper. And the bar is decidedly much lower as a MAGA rapper. All you really have to do is come up with some basic rhymes that endorse Donald Trump. And then for some weird reason, you got to like loiter in the children's section of a Target and be creepy. (laughs) 